OK, well, now we can move on and get the views of Israeli journalist Jotam Confino. Um, good afternoon to you, Jotam. Um, could we start, please, with um, this, this breaking story of a police officer who's been gravely stabbed in a suspected terror incident and that um, the assailant has been shot dead? What's the latest on that story? Well, this is just another example of spillover from the Israel-Hamas war. We've seen this often whenever Israel is engaging in a war with Hamas in Gaza. We've seen uh, simply Palestinians in East Jerusalem or the West Bank copying what's happening, copying terrorist attacks and, and trying to, to, to hurt Israeli officials, Israeli um, security officials. And this is what we saw in East Jerusalem stabbing attempt here and they neutralized the, uh, the assailant as they said which means shot dead but it's far from the only example in the west bank more than 120 palestinians have been killed since the beginning of the war in clashes with israeli soldiers so this is just like i said spillover from what is happening in gaza and of course, Yotan, the police are on high alert at the moment. Let's, uh, re let's reflect, shall we, the situation in Gaza at the moment, because there were clashes overnight, weren't there? The IDF uh, moving in, trying to ta take out members of Hamas. And this is ahead of what we are describing as an imminent ground invasion. I would say we are at a stage now where we can declare this a ground invasion. And I'm not the only one saying this. Um, simply because the limited operation that was announced on Friday is not so, it's not limited. They've been there since Friday evening. We're on day three now, and they're going further and further into Gaza. They are attacking more and more infrastructure. They're assassinating as many Hamas people as possible. Just now, actually, a few, uh, few minutes ago, we got a message from the Israeli army that they had killed four prominent Hamas uh, commanders uh, inside Gaza. And we also hear eyewitnesses telling both BBC and AFP that Israeli tanks have now reached Gaza City, or at least the vicinity of, of Gaza City, and they're cutting off the central road, Al Saladin Road, which connects northern Gaza to southern Gaza. And Yotam, um, what's your reaction to the, the horrifying scenes of a mob storming Dagestan airport in Russia? Um, Dagestan is Russia's most Muslim region. Hundreds seemingly um, trying to get to Israeli Jewish passengers landing. Um, horrible scenes. And another example, as you say, of this conflict spilling over. This con this conflict, this war, concerns the whole world. And I'm saying that because we're seeing these kinds of mob-like mentalities all across the world. We're seeing jihadists um, simply calling for the murder of Jews. We hear them chanting from the river to the sea, and some might think that that's an innocent chant, but for many that literally means the destruction of the state of Israel. We hear um, in Canada, for example, we saw a, a student leader um, basically celebrating the October 7th mass atrocity. And then we hear now in Dagestan also the storming of an airport. This is really getting out of control. And I think that many Western leaders are now really, this is a wake-up call because it's not just about the Israeli-Palestinian war. This is about a Western clash with, with, with Muslims. And, the, and, and I'm not saying all Muslims, obviously. That would be very wrong to say. But I'm saying that we see thousands of people on streets in Europe chanting jihadi slogans and calling for the death of Israel and also just chasing Jews. And I myself have been subject to the most horrific anti-Semitic tropes and slur that you can imagine just for covering the war, just for being Israeli. And it's a sad phenomenon, but this is spreading like wildfire. And I really hope that authorities across the, the Western world will take this serious. I'm so sorry to hear that. You, has that really stepped up for you in the past three weeks, those, those anti-Semitic attacks? Absolutely. And what saddens me most, I think, is that I'm both covering this for international media, such as your channel, and I'm also covering it for Danish media. I'm half Danish. I am Danish, really. I feel more Danish. And I get just, I'm flooded with messages from Danes um, who basically call me a Zionist pig and that I have no business whatsoever covering this uh, war because I'm Israeli. 
and I'm the long arm of the Israeli propaganda machine, and they dismiss my reporting as fake news. Even the mass atrocities that I've covered extensively uh, committed by Hamas, they dismiss it as fake news because I'm half Israeli. So that's very sad when it's your country that you, you, you feel this hatred coming from so many people. I'm very surprised. I have to say I'm really, really surprised how much hatred there is out there, unfortunately. Oh, it is, it is so unfortunate and really, truly shocking. Yotam Gonfino, thank you so much for, for sharing your story and also giving us the latest on the ground there. Thank you very much and do stay safe. You know, I find that so saddening and so, and, and so sickening. The way we're seeing this spreading you know, to journalists mm. like Yotam and, and that airport, those scenes, it, it's terrifying. I think you... Can we show that video again? Because that is really shocking, isn't it? When the first you... thing I saw this morning... Uh, this is a mob, as, as Martin was explaining, a mob storming Dagestan airport. This is in Russia. Yeah. They were searching for Jewish passengers that had come, landed from Israel. And, you know, people often say, how did the Holocaust begin? I think we're seeing that here. This is history repeating itself, it feels to me, horrific. This is people taking it upon themselves with a lynch mob mentality to storm into an airport, to hunt people down, physically hunt them down, simply because they're Jewish. It's grotesque. It's absolutely abhorrent. And Ali, we're seeing these protests now spreading to Britain. We've had, mm -hmm. what, three weeks of this now? And we're heading towards Remembrance Weekend in two weeks' time, mm -hmm. Ellie. And I, I'm really concerned that if this carries on, we're going to see a proper conflict on British streets, you're, especially yeah. near the Cenotaph. Yeah, you're concerned about a clash, aren't you, if I this am. continues the next few weeks. Uh, well, this incident in this airport uh, in Russia, it was, it was a violent one. 20 people were injured, two of them injured quickly. Critically, and the news agency there saying nine police officers have received injuries as well. Um, 60 people later detained. So thankfully, it does seem as though the authorities did but is there manage any to get control of the situation. Is there any wonder this happens when Vladimir Putin invited Hamas to the Kremlin? This is the consequence of that endorsement. Mm. This is madness. It has to stop.